All right, so this is what you'll be greeted with whenever you start a new flight. Currently, we're looking at Russ County, which is where the flight sim will be. This is what it looks like on the flight sim. And the default settings, the airplane is running, and you don't have to go through your checklist. Um, but if you wanted to do that, you could with this but there's some strange things. <laughs> uh, over here, I've got the keyboard. I hit Y, Yankee, um, to hide the yoke so we can look at everything. And you'll notice that the magnetos are on both. The engine started. Um, this did have a key. However, I could not get the key to work right with the way I set this up. So I put these switches in here, and they're just... Um, a single pole, single throw, whatever, anyway. Whenever you flip a switch, and they're off right now, whenever you flip a switch, it goes to that magneto. So that's the left magneto, left switch. If I turn it off, it didn't doesn't do anything because it's, it's a toggle. It's more of a button than a switch in the simulator. I couldn't set it up quite right. So right magneto, we'll switch that. It goes to the right magneto. But if you switch both of them on, it doesn't go to both. And if you switch both of them off, it doesn't turn off. So that's that's one thing I couldn't quite get right. But if the, uh, and you can do this with the mouse, so if we wanted to turn this off, we could turn it off. And the engine stops. And this button right here is look around, so. We see the engine stopped, and if we wanted to start it, our master is on. This switch down here, I did wire for, I mean, I, I did set up to work the master, but for some reason, it doesn't seem to work. I, I'll still mess with that. That might work, but it might not. <laughs> so, I mean, this, this thing is obviously old and wasn't designed for modern simulators, so the way I have it wired up, there's some issues. So anyway, master switch is still on in the game. We'll just turn that on for funsies. If we wanted to go to one magneto, we flip one switch on. If we want to go to the other magneto, we switch both that switch on. It doesn't matter which position they're in, if you want both, if you hit the start button, it'll switch it over to, it'll start it and stay on both. So even if these are off, whenever you start it, it'll go to both. So that's, you know, if you wanted to practice your checklist, you could do that, but it's just kind of weird in here. So I'm gonna say I wouldn't suggest, I would suggest that you not practice your <laughs> checklist. The same kind of thing happens with the gear, landing gear, on here. This is a button, you know, in the plane it's, it's wired as a button, so uh, not, a, not a switch. And I released the parking brake, so we're kind of taxiing into a hangar. Oops. <laughs> Let me restart that. All right, so I restarted there, but um, so this park brake is just a button, momentary button. You push it in, it comes back. The landing gear acts the same. So if you fly a complex in the simulator, what you'll do is flip this up to actuate the landing gear and you can leave it in the up position if you want. However, if you do that, whenever you come in to land and you just flip the switch down, which is the way it is normally in an airplane, um, the simulator doesn't recognize that. So you would have to flip it up again to actuate the landing gear. That's just the way it is. <clears throat> I'm not excited about it, but that's the way I could do it. So other than that, 
normal stuff, carb heat, that's all labeled. Carb heat, throttle, that all works. Uh, prop, mixture, and flaps. Flaps is another one that's weird. I'll come back to that. But trim wheel works fine. And aileron trim, I have it set up, but it doesn't seem to do anything. I think it depends on the plane that you fly. Um, but the flaps, and you see it's in this kind of middle position here. If you move it to the up position, it doesn't work quite the same as it would in the uh, actual airplane. The up is up one notch. And it's kind of the same thing like the parking brake. This is a push button that toggles. If this could go back to center, I would like that if it, if it had a spring return, but it does not. So it is what it is. So, and we're looking over here at the, uh, at the sim we can see the the flaps are up currently so if I wanted to lower the flaps what you do is you take this move it down a notch and back to center and it moves it down one notch I'll do the same thing here I'll move it down a notch and back to center and it moved it down another 20 you know another 10 degrees so 20 degrees flaps. so it's back at the center I'll push it down one more time full flaps and I moved it back to the center. If you just went up and you said, okay, I wanna get rid of all my flaps, it only moves it up one notch. And, you know, again, I wish it wasn't that way, but the way this is set up, it is that way. So put it back to the neutral, it stays there. So if you go up again, it goes up a notch. Up again, up a notch. So to get, to full flaps, you go 10 degrees, 20 degrees, 30 degrees, or 40 or whatever full is. Uh, and then to go back from that, up a notch, up a notch, up a notch. So, yeah. Um, <clears throat> other things, this simulator had a way that you could connect a, <clears throat> a pseudo headset down here and an instructor headset up here. <clears throat> and I guess you could talk on the radio and stuff, but pretty cool. This thing must have been expensive. Um, but again, it was broken on the inside. The electronics were fried, so I'm not I'm not sad that it's being used in its current form. So anyway, this does not work. Um, oops. I didn't have enough buttons for everything here. <clears throat> so, because it's a simulator and not an actual airplane, there's a couple things I did not wire up. I did not wire up the COM1 radio because you're not going to be talking on the radio. I mean, you can sit there with your instructor and your instructor can say, you know, what's the name of this airplane? November 172 Syria Papa, right base, runway, whatever, you know, 1817. Um, so anyway, COM1 does not work. ADF, again, does not work. Um, not only do we not really use it in GA, you know, it's just, it's just not necessary on this plane. Uh, the transponder, again, same kind of deal. You don't need to talk to ATC, so you don't need to change your frequency and ident and all that. Uh, things that do work. Nav 1, Nav 2, these do work. And if you look up here, and I'll turn one of the radio frequencies. I don't know if you can see it, but there we are changing that. And the left knob is the first number and the right knob is the after the decimal so here's the right knob changing the after the decimal so that's nav two nav one same deal and the button down here will flip-flop 
So you can you can take your frequency, tune in your second frequency, and then flip flop it. You know, so one one four two. It's Tyler. We'll flip it up, and boom, it picked it up. So, and this is set to V lock. Again, you know, I wish that this had more buttons. I could program the 530 and the 430, but again, it does not. So if you, just like in the plane, if you had GPS, it'll, it'll slave it, your OBS or whatever VOR head to the GPS. Again, VLOG. So, so that, that does work. And along with that, um, the NAV1, NAV2, OBS, I did wire up. So you turn these and it turns your OBS head up here. And it's currently set a little bit low. I will speed this up, but uh, because you don't need to turn this dial one degree at a time, that's not how it works in the plane and you don't need to be that precise. So, so NAV1, NAV2, both of those work. Uh, on here and I thought that was a good that's a good thing to use for instrument training or you know cross-country training that sort of deal my my thought on this is if you were scheduled to fly the plane and you had a bad weather day you could maybe come in here and use this to get some practice um, other than that these buttons look around on the on the sim so you can look up, look down, look left, look right. And, um, you know, it's not as convenient as turning your head and looking out the window and seeing where the runway is behind you, but you can do it. So it's fine. Um, I think these are set to like make changes on the simulator, but these are not connected. I wanted to set these, but I, I couldn't, I didn't have enough buttons again. So um, the autopilot, I did wire up and it's kind of fiddly on the simulator, but depending on the plane that you're flying, if it has one, obviously, uh, you can turn it on, hold a heading, hold an altitude, and that's about it, which is fine. I mean, if you were doing cross country and you wanted to, do that instead of fighting the wind or whatever you could do that uh, but again doesn't really work like it does in the plane so maybe don't use it <laughs> so to me you're gonna sit down not worry about the mags not worry about the master switch or the lights I did wire the lights in but they kind of kind of work kind of don't on the simulator uh, but anyway, so in short, what's wired, this is wired in, the headset is not, these switches are, gear, switch, parking brake, these are wired, the throttle and everything is wired, flaps, trim, aileron trim, that's all wired. The nav radios are wired and the OBSs are wired and the buttons are wired. That's the short of it. Also, of course, the rudders are down here and the rudders do have the uh, roll, roll the top side to get to the brake. So that's your left brake, that's your right brake, you know, squeeze them both, you get both brakes. Um, the parking brake release does work also for the flight sim. So whenever you first get in it, it's sitting here on the ramp, engine running, with the parking brake on. So that, that may catch you up if you don't notice that. So parking brake release, turns it off, and you can start flying. Um, and if you notice, we're already rolling. So, yeah, that's that. Um, you definitely still have to give it right rudder or else you're going to run off the runway. <laughs> So it definitely works, um, and I think that the the yoke has a better feel to it than a stick does, just a stick and rudder. Um, so 
you know, I hope I hope that somebody finds it useful and uh, it gets used. You know, it, it wasn't being used, so my hope is that somebody finds it useful and it won't uh, won't sit around and rot. I I ask that you don't change the settings um, in the flight sim simply because it took me a while to get the settings correct and um, it works the way it is currently so you know if you find that something doesn't work right you could talk to the uh, airport manager they have my information and they should be able to help you um, but other than that I'm not gonna leave my contact info so, yeah, but if you're watching this video, you could leave comments on it if you wanted to. Uh, but yeah, thanks for watching, thanks for looking, and I uh, hope, hope you use it and enjoy it. And uh, have a good one.